My name's Doug, I'm from a small town called Bedworth in the Midlands. I ain't expecting none of you to know where it is, even though I don't fucking know where it is. All right, we're, uh, we're the smallest town in the area, so we kind of get bullied by all the bigger towns and cities with the normal incestuous jokes you hear, but I don't take that shit. I fight fire with fire. This is what normally happens. Ah, oh, you live in Bedworth? I bet you've got six fingers and six toes. No, mate, I live in Bedworth, not in Bredworth. Yeah, but I bet you shag your sister, don't you? Well, of course I do, she's fit as fuck for a 15-year-old. I'm only joking, I'm only joking. She's, uh, she's not fit, really. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we've got a problem in Bedworth at the minute, right? And uh, that problem, it's like uh, we've got a massive infestation with uh, man bag wearing chav knobheads. <laughs> Do you get them round here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's different in Liverpool. Liverpool, London, Manchester, you've actually got like your gangster sort of stuff, haven't you? But in Bedworth, right, they've watched Kidulthood and all of a sudden they think they're from the ends, yeah? <laughs> But they're not from the ends, it's a small town, right? And these do my head in, right? I'll tell you why they do my head in. I watched this one this one day, and he's walking down the road with this massive dog, because they can't have a sausage dog or a chihuahua, can they? They've all got these big status symbols. And this dog dropped down and done what I can only describe as King Kong's finger on the path, right? And I went, hey, you gonna clean that shit up? He went, I ain't cleaning up no shit fun. Now this does my head in, right? I have to walk, I have to walk my son to school, right? There's shit everywhere. We end up having to play plopscotch trying to dodge it all, right? <laughs> now, the more I watch these little idiots, right, the more I kind of like them, yeah? I watch them like how David Attenborough watches animals, right? There's three I've come across lately that have really gauged my attention. The first one, I've gone to my local shop, and there's this little group of these knobheads outside, and this little one about that big is gone. Yo, fam, can you get me some fags from the shop, please? <laughs> I went, no, fuck off. And he went, mums get stubbed up for less, you know. <laughs> Oh, what you want to wear, you little twat man to get stabbed up for less? I mean, I didn't say it to him, I didn't want to get shanked up, you know what I mean? But I was thinking it. Second one, I'm outside putting my recycling in the recycling bin because I'm a proper badass, yeah? And I've seen this one come walking up the road like this. I'm thinking, what the fucking hell's up with your leg? You got one leg shorter than the other. Forgot to put your blocker boot on or something. But it turns out this is just how these little idiots walk, right? So I've watched him. I knew which house he was going to. He was going to an house opposite. So I thought, I'm going to listen in to him because they've got some good gangster lingo, haven't they? So I listened in. He got to the door. His mate's mum answered the door. Gangster, out the window. He's like, hello, Mrs. Johnson. Is Timmy in? <laughs> so you're a fucking gangster a minute ago. Surely you should be going, yo, Mrs. G, come to link up with, tu with Timmy. Give him touch or something. But he never. But my favourite out of all these little idiots was this one. So I'm walking through the town and he's on the phone. So I caught up behind him. And I'm listening to him again, and he's gone. Yo, Josh, we need to link up from you. I've just been paid from work. I've got bare cash. <laughs> bare cash? What the fucking hell's bare cash? Do bears have cash? <laughs> he's got like a vision of him walking around like a big salmon hanging out his pocket. <laughs> Wonder what he got for Christmas. Probably bare shit. <laughs> <laughs>